sports coverage you can count on with Lauren Cavazzini. On May 25th, the voice of the Auburn Tigers, Rod Bramplett, and his wife Paula passed away after a serious car accident down in Auburn. Now, Auburn Nation is still grieving the loss of their voice. In this picture of Alabama's mascot, Big Al, sitting on a bench with his arm around Auburn's mascot, Abby went viral just right after the accident. Now, earlier this week, I got to sit down with the artist behind the drawing, Huntsville native Johnny Sharp. I started out drawing when I was a little, little kid. I can't remember a time when I wasn't. Johnny Sharp has lived in Huntsville his entire life. So growing up, he had to pick Auburn or Alabama. So you're an Alabama fan? Oh, yeah. Through and through? Always yes, Alabama? Yes, yes. Born and raised. But this Crimson Tide fan couldn't sit back and watch as hardship rolled through the city of Auburn. Yeah, I knew that things had been tough there, especially with the, uh, the police tragedy that had happened the week before. And, and then I heard about the news about Rod Brown and his wife. And uh, I said, that's, that's just, that's been a really tough week for Auburn. And uh, I just wanted to show something to let them know that we were thinking about them as Alabama fans and just as a state and uh, that we were with them. And so that's why I created that. Sharp took out his sketchbook and drew the university's two mascots, Alabama's Big Al and Auburn's Obby sitting on a bench with their backs turned and Big Al with his arm around Abby. I thought about it and I wanted to do the mascots. It's, I think it's more touching from behind. And so I, I, I thought it would, it would just be better from then. It's, it's easy, they're both so easily recognizable that you can tell from behind. And I just thought it would be much better like that. It's simpler. Uh, I didn't want to put any words on it. Uh, I, th I thought that would tell the story right there. Sharp posted the drawing on Facebook with the caption, quote, for all my Auburn friends, hashtag Rod Bramplett, hashtag Officer Beekner. Uh, uh, I have many, many Auburn fan fans and, and, and friends that are, um, family and friends that are fa Auburn fans. And um, uh, one of them saw it and reposted it and shared it, and it just went, caught on from there. Sharp says he's read a lot of the comments from those who have shared it. People were saying, this is great. Um, I really appreciate this. Uh, a lot of Auburn fans were saying they identified with Aubie in the picture, that they, um, they felt sad and, you know, it was nice to have somebody show that they cared. And that meant, that meant a lot to me. That meant a, a great deal to me. And Sharp wants people to know. It's, it is, at the end of the day, you know, just a game. <clears throat> and we're all this, we're all family, we're all co-workers, we're all friends, and um, we all want the same things. It was definitely a great picture. I was inspired by it. I mean, it's got almost 11,000 shares just on Facebook, and I saw it on Twitter, so it's gone viral all over the place, and I can't believe that the picture of the mascots is such an inspiring image for a lot of people. Yeah, it's cool when you see something like that go viral all over, and Bama fans, Auburn fans are all tweeting it, and you're like, man, who is the mastermind behind it? And it happened to be a guy from my here in Huntsville. Yeah, and he's actually drawn a lot of other things. Like, let's check this out. Johnny Sharp actually drew this picture of the trash panda when it was first announced by the minor league baseball team was coming back to the Rocket City. And the trash pandas was one of the names that people were voting on. And now it's actually the real thing. And so how cool is that? I love that little guy. He's so fun. And